Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I know it's been a really long time since I posted a video. The month of May was a little bit crazy and hectic for me, so I literally could not find the time nor the place to film. So I'm sorry about that, but I figured I'd kick off the month of June with a new video that I've never done before. I'm going to do a skincare routine video. I get a lot of questions from my friends about what I do and like what they should use, and we'll talk about skin for like days if possible. So I figured I would just put it all in a video that way at the very least if anyone else asks me I can direct them to my video. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with what I do in the morning and then I'll switch over to what I do at the night time. So during the day, uh, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning besides like brushing my teeth and everything is I wash my face. So I wash my face with the cleanser of the month. So what I mean by that is whatever cleanser I may get from Ipsy or Sephora, I test it out in the morning. And actually, one of the cleansers that is my all-time favorite, I didn't get it from an Ipsy bag or Sephora. I actually got it from, well, I got it from Sephora, but not Sephora Play. So I got it part of a 500-point package. It was a Murad package. And I've always been interested in Murad. I know it's a really good skincare brand, so I decided to give it a try. So currently for the month of May, you could say that I've been washing my face with the Murad. This is the Murad Essential C Cleanser. Uh, like I said, I got it part of a 500 point reward. May have been in May, may have been in April, but this is what I've been using. Um, I can't say that like I saw a stark difference, but I, maybe it's the vitamin C, but I just feel a little bit more awake. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit because I'm like perpetually tired. Um, also occasionally when I want to mix it up because your skin just like your body does need you to mix things up because it adapts I've been using the kale green tea spinach uh, vitamins age prevention cleanser I think I got this from the Sephora play bag the uh, brand is youth for the people um, I it's not that I feel that this is particularly good I think I just find it interesting so the next product I'm going to talk about is not an everyday product, uh, partially because it's super expensive, but also just because I use it on an as-needed basis. So I don't, I am not someone who's sold on toner. I do not feel like I need to tone every single day. I've never really been sold on the idea of toner, but last winter, I think it was, my skin made a change that I've never seen before. Now normally I tend to be on the oily side, but last winter I was so dry that my skin was like peeling and there were lines forming and like especially under my eye it was like all like crepe-like and wrinkled. And I went nuts trying to find like what to do, what to use. I was watching a million YouTube videos and one thing that was like the hot button toner of last year, and I'm sure it still is, was the uh, SK2 facial treatment essence. Now, this is $100, or $99, but whatever, it's $100, and I was very hesitant to buy it just because that's a lot for something that feels like I'm just splashing water on my face, but because Sephora has a really good return policy, I figured I'll use it for a week or two. If I see a difference, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'm returning it, like, F that, I need my $100 back. And it was a miracle worker. I'm sure in conjunction with the other products I, would, I was using that I changed to, but I felt like whenever, and since then, whenever my skin is about to freak out, and I can tell usually on the dry, peely side, or like when I see my um, under eye crinkling a little bit more than usual, I whip out the SK2, and it it just revitalizes my skin. And I'm, uh, listen, I'm all for the budget. I am not rolling in the money, but it was the best purchase, and when I run out, I would probably purchase it again. So this next product is an also as needed product. Now, I break out just like the best of them. The one thing that I've always gone back to, and you're gonna see by the look of the bottle that I really squeeze it to the last drop, is the Neutrogena Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne. I saw this like in a commercial maybe a year and a half ago, and I was like, okay, whatever, it's Neutrogena, it's a drugstore, I can afford it, worst case scenario, it sucks, and I'll give it to my sister. No, I used to use it it has salicylic acid? The point I'm trying to make is that it's called a daily leave-on mask. So when I first bought it, I would literally put it all over my face before my moisturizer every single day. 
even though my face was not that bad and not that badly broken out but I wanted to give it the full like treatment and I didn't peel I didn't dry I didn't break out I didn't have a rash like it truly is a daily leave-on mask but I don't use it like that anymore what I do do is when I feel in like a, a bump or an acne spot or something coming through I do a spot treatment and usually when I do that it says you know apply an even layer because you're using it as a mask but I'll just dab uh, right on the spot and within two to three days it cycles through like so the next product I want to talk about is an exfoliator I use two types of exfoliators um, for the granular kind of grainy exfoliator I'm in love with the Tarte friction stick I got this from either Ipsy or Sephora Play who knows like a bajillion years ago and I didn't think I'd like it, it was, it's like a weird product it looks like a chapstick when you oh, someone like dug into it but it's like a chapstick uh, so you like wet your face and you rub it on your skin and then you go ahead and exfoliate and I really it was so fine the exfoliate like the exfoliator that I felt like oh no way this is really actually exfoliating me but yes it did so much so that I would never use this more than once a week and even then I only use it when I really need it and then what I do use to try to help slough off those dead skin cells is my Foreo Luna I used to have the Clarisonic because everyone talked about it and I just want to follow all the trends and I spent the money and I got it but I hated how it felt like it was way too aggressive I know that like you go through the two week uh, period where everything comes out and then your skin balances out that was not my problem my problem was literally the brush head and I had the most sensitive one it just didn't feel right that I should be like tugging at my skin in that way because that's what I believe I'm by no mean by no means like a dermatologist or anything but I felt like it was going to in the long run cause uh, me to lose elasticity but most importantly get wrinkles and then I heard Kathleen Light talk about her Oreo Luna so I wanted to give it a try and I don't use it every single day because I, I don't think it's necessary but I like that when I do use it I feel really clean but a gentle clean like my skin doesn't feel like I just attacked it with sandpaper <laughs> just to exfoliate it so I don't think that this is a must buy must purchase product don't get me wrong I know it's a little pricey I just think that like if you're someone who really believes your skin needs exfoliating and you're using a lot of the grainy products or you have a Clarisonic I would think that you should try to invest in this I, there are many ones too that's a little bit cheaper and I would just go for it I think I don't know if it's over but the FabFit Fun Box was promoting that they had it and it's like 50 bucks for the whole box um, but I really really do like it you don't need to charge it as much as the Clarisonic the Clarisonic one you have to charge like every couple of days I felt like or I think it was every 20 uses I don't know don't quote me but this I've not charged it since I got it and I got it in November like that's how good it is and I use it fairly regularly so I'll use it maybe up to three times a week if I need it but sometimes I don't use it at all because I really don't feel like I need it um, but I like it so that's part of my routine so the next product I want to talk about is actually a product that surprised me I definitely got this as part of my Sephora play bag that I've recorded however many months ago it's the belief eye cream and I told, said in that video like ah, oh, whatever eye creams don't make or break my life so on and so forth like I'll use it whatever so I was using it and I really liked it and so I kept using it I didn't I didn't like it because I was like oh my gosh my eyes are so different but I did notice that they were like smoother and like more moisturized but not I'm not saying that it was like the end of the world great but here's what made me fall in love with it I stopped using it because I got lazy as part of my routine I didn't use it for a long time I want to say maybe a couple weeks two three weeks and then I did my makeup for something important and oh my gosh I was my under eyes like it wasn't it was like breaking up like my makeup didn't hold now that could be because of like maybe I used a different primer maybe I know that I used my normal under eye concealer like that I've always used so maybe it was a primer I use the same setting powder I've always used the only difference was I haven't used this and I felt like it must be this I could be crazy could be a conspiracy theory but I had never in my life experienced that 
and like even before I used belief so I don't know if like my skin got used to the moisture of belief and then I took it away and it was just not adapting well but now I know I'm not allowed to go <laughs> too long without it and it's lasted a pretty long time I mean I don't remember when I recorded the video but I still have at least half of the jar left maybe a little less than half because you don't need much for your under eye I don't know listen if you're looking for an under eye cream this is the one to go if you're fine without it maybe don't start a habit you can't break later because I think that's what happened I started a habit that now I'm forced to keep so if you can't afford to pay the price of $70 which is not absurd sometimes I feel like what am I doing to myself a good alternative and I wouldn't call it a dupe but I would call it a legit alternative is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel or something like that I'll link it below um because it's not a moisturizer, it doesn't have that lotion-y feel, it really is a gel, it absorbs quickly into your skin, doesn't sit on your face, it just, it's, and it, it's hydrating. So it does what a moisturizer should do, and it's like only 20 bucks in Target, so it's a pretty solid bargain. I mean, one time, um, in between uses of my Tatcha, I just couldn't afford it because I was way over budget, it was like wedding season, so I had to switch back to the Hydro uh, Boost, and I'm not going to say that I was just as in love with it but it, I didn't feel like my skin suffered it wasn't like when I started using Neutrogena all of a sudden people were like oh what happened why are you so ugly like it was fine I survived um, I think if you have pretty decent skin and you really need to stick to a budget there's no problems with the Hydra Boost it's just I like the effects it has the touch it has on my skin I like that I do feel like I look I might say younger I would just say healthier like healthier glowier it just smoother fluid like I, I don't know how to describe it I just look better with the Tatcha um, I started using the uh, jar that I have now by the way it smells amazing it smells like a spa but I started using it in end of April early May and I still have a decent amount left like you don't a little bit legitimately goes a long way like I just put in my ring finger and get a pearl size amount and that will go all over my face and even down to my neck a little and so that's what helps it last along so it's seventy dollars but it could easily last you two months if not more depending on um, how you use it I don't use it morning and night so that helps too this is strictly my daytime routine um, because at nighttime I use another product that you know is better to sit on your skin for a longer period of time without it being disturbed by the environment or makeup or so on and so forth so that's my last one of the day the daytime and now I'll go into my nighttime routine my nighttime routine very varies a lot more than my daytime just because some days I wear masks some days I don't wear masks like some days I literally will do the bare minimum and some days I'm a little over the top it all depends on the time that I have my energy levels and if I have an event coming up so the first thing um, I do obviously is I come home usually from the gym or work and I hop into the shower and my nighttime cleanser is usually a clutch cleanser it needs to be a cleanser that's going to tackle the day that I just went through be it that I had a full face of makeup be it that I was out sweating going to the gym etc etc I went to CeraVe's foaming cleanser and I really liked that one not that it took off all of my makeup um, in one fell swoop especially when I did a lot of makeup I just liked how my skin felt when it was done it didn't feel like I still had things on my skin but it also didn't feel like I ripped every last thing off of my skin you know when you get out the shower and it's so tight and dry so I liked it but I, I like to mix it up so I had to move on once that bottle was done I used to use purity by philosophy it's a little pricey but that one really is a one-step facial cleanser just like it says if I had makeup if I didn't have makeup doesn't matter what the hell happened to my face that day purity was handling it right now I'm using one by bliss spa it's called bliss pore patrol clay to foam purifying cleanser with willow bark um, I don't know why I bought it I was in Target and I knew I needed a facial cleanser and I walked by their like bliss stand and there's this other bliss product that I actually will recommend to anyone and everyone um, so this was next to that and I was like well should I use this and I had another one I had a soap and glory one and so I was caught between the two they're both fairly well priced and I don't know 
I just chose this one and it's worked pretty well I don't hate it it is really clay to foam I don't let the clay sit on my skin for too long because I don't have that kind of time at nighttime like I'm trying to wash my face and keep it moving I feel like I have noticed a difference in my pore pores so like I said I have enlarged pores in my t-zone area I they're not gone by any means necessary but they have shrunk like I when I don't have makeup I don't feel like it's just staring at people um, so I do like it. I would recommend the product I really would if you're looking for something different and you have Target near you and no one ever needs an excuse to go to Target, I would go ahead and pick it up and give it a try. So after I wash my face and I get out of the shower, like I mentioned in my daytime, if I need toner, I'll use toner. For the most part, I don't. But this is this next product is my favorite product. I mean, anytime anyone ever comes to me with an issue, like I feel that 9 out of 10, this product could, keep, could uh, cure their issue. Now I found this in TJ Maxx, um, it was like $5 for a box of it, and I was so excited when I saw it, because I thought it was going to be great, and when I realized it was great, I went back to TJ Maxx and I couldn't find it, and then I didn't know where to buy it, and then Target came out with the Bliss brand. I know, what a coincidence. Now, this, it's called That's Incredible Peel. Only thing that I don't like is that I feel like it's overpriced in Target. When I bought it in TJ Maxx, and I know TJ Maxx is obviously substantially cheaper, it was like $5 for a box of the Incredit Peels, but in Target it's like $20, and I just haven't brought myself to repurchase it, obviously because I didn't run out yet, but it's going to be tough when I buy it, because $20 for like, I think it's like 12 pads, it just sounds ridiculous, but knowing that it really works well, I might just go for it. So the way it works is when, you're, when you've cleansed your face, you rip it open, and it has glycolic acid and it's like a, a resurfacing pad so if you have a breakout if you are uh, if you have some discoloration it's good for pores what else texture like it literally is just a resurfacing pad it helps with the cellular turnover again parentheses disclaimer I am NOT a dermatologist do not take what I say like literally this is just in my experience um, and I, I don't use it every single day because I don't think it's necessary. I use it maybe two to three times a week, probably closer to two. So when I come out, I rub it all over my face and I let it really sink in. And then I follow it with something really gentle and hydrating because it does sting a little. So if you have sensitive skin, like I'm thinking of my one friend, she would probably hate this and like think she was burning in hell. But uh, for the most part, if you have literally like any discoloration, if you're having issues with breakout, if you feel like your skin is just like, I'm going to say the word cloudy because when you have a buildup of dead skin cells, I feel like it looks clouded. Any of that. Like, I literally feel like this cures most problems. Not all problems, but most problems. And I'm absolutely in love with it. I would not do this video without mentioning this product. I wish I could mention it 30,000 times. So like I've said, my nighttime uh, routine varies because it depends if I'm doing a mask or not. And I do masks probably almost every other day, if not every two days. But it's not the same kind of mask. Like I mix it up. Mainly, um, all of my subscriptions always gives me some sort of mask. So that's, and I can never, like I have a collection of masks. Like because I keep getting them, I could never quite, I never quite normally finish them. So I always have some mask that I could do. Now, I've only pulled out a couple of my very, very, very favorite ones, and I would recommend, highly recommend two of them. The first ones I'm going to talk about is something I feel like everyone's tried at least once. They're $5. They're the Sephora mask. Anytime I go into a Sephora, even if I have no intention of buying anything, I walk out with like a mask or two. They're really affordable, and I really like them. And if they make me feel like I'm relaxing more than usual, so why not? The next product I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about is one that my friend actually gave me. She bought it. It was like a, a trial size, still pretty pricey. Um, it's the Sunday Riley Good Jeans All in One Lactic Acid Treatment. It's like over a hundred dollars for the normal size bottle, so I will not repurchase this. But that's not to say it's because it's not good. It actually is really good. One downside: it smells awful. I have. When I put it on, I literally feel like it smells like dog poop. I'm not joking. It, I hate the smell. I don't go near anyone else. I don't want them to think I smell. But it's good. It's, it's actually really, it's annoyingly good. Um, I can't say that like you put it on once and you feel like, you know, you're a whole new human being. But when I feel like my skin's starting to stir into some trouble, 
this literally calms it down in 2.5 seconds like listen this size this itty bitty size I think is $28 and then the full size like 120 something dollars if for whatever reason I had money to spare I would purchase it like I would if you really have it in your budget do it like if you want try this size first it's only $30 so it's less of a commitment still overpriced like really overpriced trial sizes tend to be even more overpriced than usual but I am gonna be so sad when I run out of it and I might I mean it's lasted me pretty long so I've, I've had it since February and I use it at least once a week sometimes more because it's just it's it's so easy to use you just, just look it's a cream you just put it on your face and you're good at nighttime I use it at nighttime it says you can use it at daytime but I don't um, I don't know what to say it's just that cellular tone cellular turnover I keep mentioning I feel like this expedites the process I could be wrong it might not even be what it's meant like its purpose I don't remember its purpose but that's what it feels like for me so when I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like oh girl like you look a little old a little two day stale I put it on and it's, it's really good so for those of you who can afford it do it although I think I, the reviews are pretty good but my best friend who gave it to me she didn't like it so clearly it's not for everyone remember that Sephora has a pretty solid return policy so if you want to give it a try and it doesn't work for you you can always return it but I feel like you wouldn't because I loved it so much because it's, it's so perfect and it hurts my soul because it's like it's like Le Mer. I know it's great, but I, I just can't afford it and I have to just watch it from like afar, <laughs> really far away. So this next product is a product that I would recommend. I got it from my Ipsy bag. It's the Sand and Sky Brilliant Skin Detoxify and Brightening Purifying Pink Clay Mask. It's pretty long. Um, this mask is like a clay mask, except that it's better than Glam Glow, better than Origins, better than any clay mask I've ever touched ever. I put it on like my t-zone area because that's my biggest trouble area and I could see it working as it's drying up and when I wash my face I really do look cleaner like I am I look like I have light glowing it glowing from inside in fact I got this maybe two months ago I want to say March or I want to say March and I'm it's done like I'm surprised that I saved the tube thankfully for this video I still had it but it's empty and like I mentioned before I really rarely finish a mask uh, because I keep getting them every single month but that mask was like crack for your skin like that was one of those products I said I felt like really helped my skin not break out this month I feel like that the lactic acid the Incredipeel like these are just solid products that honestly if I did if I didn't have a makeup subscription and I had to choose some products those are products that I would invest in I believe the sand and sky is a little pricey I think it was 50 bucks if I remember so it is a lot for a mask but glam glow is like 60 something so if you're buying glam glow stop it and buy the sand and sky because it was bomb like bomb and I rarely say that about a mask because I don't think you could really tell if a mask is amazing until you use it regularly and consistently and because I usually get them in the trial size by the time I can get consistent I ran out and I'm not about to just invest in it just to see but that one on the first go I was mind blown um, if you can't afford it like you just really can't there is a clay mask on Amazon I'll put the name in the description box I literally can't remember it's like a weird name um, it's some Asian brand and it looks like gray mud and you put it on your skin and it bubbles like literally your face starts to foam and then you wash it off that worked really well on the first try so much so that I did it and like my friend who was with me noticed my skin results quicker than I did now I want to move on to serums and oils right now I do not have a serum that I'm like a diehard for I was using another dry dry <laughs> I was using another drunk elephant it was their glycolic serum it's also $90 it has the hot pink top and I used it it was great it's glycolic but I like the glycolic peel better so if you have sensitive skin and that peel is going to burn your skin and probably give you like some sort of breakout I would go with the glycolic serum that drunk elephant has because it goes on super smooth super hydrating feels good you feel good afterwards and it doesn't have that harsh resurfacing effect but it does keep your skin balanced I think that in my experience of using drunk elephant 
Um, they're not a miracle worker, but if you use it long enough, it just keeps your skin healthy and going. You know what I mean? Um, it's just one of those staple products. So if you can't withstand the peel, try the Drunk Elephant. So this last product is an oil. Now, if I'm not doing a mask that's going to sit on my face all day, meaning like the Sephora mask, once you take it off, you're supposed to let those, uh, like the liquid, just sit on your skin. So if I'm using a clay mask and I have to wash it off, or if I use a glycolic peel, so pretty often, I'd say at least four times a week, I would use my oil. And I'm using right now the Midnight Recovery Concentrate by Kiehl's, and the reason I love this one is because when I first tried it I got a sample from Macy's and I used it and within a week my skin was brighter it really is a recovery oil it really makes me feel good I use it about four times a week if not more so if I'm not doing as many masks I'm using my oil a lot more I probably am gonna cut back a little because it's summertime and I tend to get oily um, but in the winter time it kept my face like you would not have thought it was freezing cold brick outside like you would have thought I was in a tropic freaking home because my skin really had that healthy glow it was really moisturized it wasn't peeling it wasn't red it wasn't like scathed from the winter like I think a lot of people watching this video are trying to troubleshoot certain issues and they're not thinking about anti-aging so anti-aging get the oils because it really is going to put back into your skin what you lose from smiling crying frowning being angry scowling whatever um, but if your trouble issue is discoloration if your trouble issue is texture if your trouble issue is pores you're not thinking about the oil you're thinking about the sand and sky mask you're thinking about the pore patrol you're thinking about Incredipeel I'm gonna say Incredipeel at least three more times because I really think that that's gonna change everyone's lives like I can't tell you enough how it literally put my skin game on a whole new level to the point where I said I think $20 is too much for this product I really do I wish Target would bring it down but I would invest in it because I have never seen my skin look so good so that's my skincare routine I feel like I spoke a lot more than I thought I was gonna talk I thought that this was gonna be a lot quicker than it turned out to be but um, I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. I'm more than happy to answer anyone's questions. I am not a dermatologist, but I feel like I've done enough trial and error that I can give you my two cents. But just keep in mind that if you're having a really serious issue, you might want to go ahead and check with your doctor, check with a dermatologist, some sort of specialist who can really guide you. I can only speak from my personal experience and not all skin is the same. And not all skin stays the same. My skin's not the same skin I had 10 years ago, 5 years ago, or even like a year ago. It really does change. So thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time.